Matt O'Brien Films presents Epidemic, epidemic disease. disease. Throughout our short history, humans have been plagued by epidemic diseases. Get it? Plagued? Now seriously though, today we're going to explore how germs have and will continue to impact the world that we live in. To discover the origins of disease, we must first look at our origins. I'm not going to bore you with details of Australopithecus afarensis or Homo habilis, that's just too far back. I will, however, bore you with smallpox, which dates back to around 10,000 BC, when it can first be seen on mummies in Egypt, specifically Ramses V. At that same time, it was recorded in Asia, and is mentioned in the ancient Sanskrit texts of India. Smallpox is the common name for the variola major virus, and it seemingly evolved from nothing more than transmission and killing. Even if the host is lucky enough not to succumb to the disease, they will most likely be covered in scars for the rest of their life. But how has smallpox affected history? Europeans have been exposed to smallpox for generations, and with each generation they gained more immunity. Why? Well, Charles Darwin said it best when he said, Survival of the fittest. Because the people who got smallpox and died were never able to reproduce. The people who survived, however, would live long enough to have children and pass their good immune systems onto them. The people of the Americas, however, didn't have these special immunities, as they'd never been exposed to smallpox before. So when Hernan Cortez landed in Mexico the second time, despite being defeated the first, he easily took over the Aztec Empire. Why? Because approximately half of the Aztecs had been wiped out due to smallpox. The same thing happened to Bizarro in 1531 with the Incas. By the time he had made it to the capital, so had smallpox, and the Incan Empire lost its emperor whose warring sons and divided forces made it easy for Pizarro to overcome the Incans. Looking back, it seems the deadliest weapon that the Europeans brought to the Americas wasn't a gun or a sword. It was their germs that won the battles for them. Without these germs, however, history could have been very different. The Aztecs and Incas may have never been conquered by Cortes and Pizarro, and may have become powerful countries in their own right. We'll never know, however, because epidemic diseases aided the destructive forces of the Europeans, and eventually led to the downfall of early American civilization. Today, however, smallpox has been eradicated, meaning that it can no longer be caught through natural means. Right now, this process is being repeated with epidemic diseases such as polio and malaria. The threat of an epidemic still remains, though. After the events of September 2001, the world became awake to the horrors of terrorism and the possibility of a bioterrorist attack. Bioterrorism could be accomplished by releasing the smallpox virus or any other disease into a populated area. The CDC estimates that a large-scale attack could kill millions of people and have prepared for this possibility by stockpiling vaccines. So in all, despite the horrors and deaths and scars associated with an epidemic, it has helped human history along its course and will continue to do so for the rest of our history. Whether being of natural origin or of bioterrorism attack, Epidemics will be part of our lives forever, and we will learn to accept that 